fresh is another man's treasure From then to now, thank God it got better One man's trash is another man's treasure From then to now, thank God it got better Wow. Nice. Man, I am lucky this is still here. I saw this posted on one of the free cycle pages. And it was posted last night. And then a scrapper about an hour ago said, Hey, is it still there? And the homeowner said, Yes. So I'm like, Hmm. homeowner said it's still there they might be just taking the day off so if they're taking the day off I'm not gonna yeah I meant to take these off in my shop I had a carload of teenagers so they couldn't stay in my truck all right let's get a rope Is this on the curb? Get into my truck. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Hi, Rufus. Stack them like a madman. somehow yeah and the same on this side Smoker? Is it a, it's a, is it plastic? It's a couple of things. Is it a gun safe? in the tote. Hmm. 
That is pool equipment. They're a White Sox fan. Hey, all my botanist majors out there. Is this the, um, the Bradford pear tree with the white flowers on it? I, I got some friends that are not fans of that tree. Actually, there's another one up here on the right. There, yeah, and there's one on the left over here too. Can you see that clearly? Maybe that's the same one right there. I'm just wondering, I'm trying to identify. I have a neighbor that says that uh, the trees are horrible and they cause problems. I know nothing about golf. I've played the game once when I was like 23 years old maybe no I wasn't even that old maybe 20 but these are Golf Co championship shot control pitching wedge all right Are there any garage spiders in here? <laughs> Actually, I don't mind spiders at all. I really don't, I like them. I've liked spiders since I was a little kid. In Las Vegas, growing up, there was black widows everywhere. I used to go out at night with a flashlight and just check them out. That's a mini fridge. Locking driveways. You know you're not supposed to do that, blah. That's actually, that's, that's not that small. Hi, Rufus. That's a good dog doing his job. Another Rufus. I should have pulled up further, huh? I thought I heard a, uh, yeah, that sound, that electronic sound. It's a cardinal. Wow, sub zero. Hmm. You know what? <laughs> I'll bet you work. Oh. <laughs> and you weigh 400,000 pounds. Oh. Dude, this is way not light. turning into a chair day. Why do I like this? I think because it's old school. It probably will last 150 years. Clipping the cord yet. So I'm thinking about taking those 
aluminum-ish chairs off at my house. These actually don't seem bad. They might go up on Marketplace for 20 bucks for a set of four. Maybe. I see rust. I just, yeah. Yeah, I don't want a chair breaking on somebody. Okay, I'm gonna take these chairs off here. They they might be resell, I don't know. Maybe that's just surface rust. I don't know, it's chipping the paint. I don't know, worst case scenario, they're gonna go back on the truck for scrap. I wanna take the aluminum off. I'm gonna take the refrigerator off. I'm gonna plug it in to see if it works and then uh, go back out. Good. <laughs> It's taking up all the space. I mean, what if I find a washer and a dryer and a refrigerator and a stove and it just, yeah, you get it. While I'm home, guess who wants to go out? I think that's my ex-wife out door dashing in her electric uh, BMW. Where are my kids at? <laughs> it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Curb vines. Appreciate you putting it out there. That's brand new cell. Everything works. I'm wow. I'm get a different welder, so I'm just. Okay. So you're just giving us gifts, huh? Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Christmas on a sunny day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there's right, no bow. Get back to work. Right, so if you need any help, you power. Okay. Wow. Nice. Yeah. That welder works, but I don't, I don't care for it. So. Okay. I, you know, we're moving. I don't want to yeah. have no freaking sale and stuff. You know. We want to get cost to move it, you know? Yeah. So. Okay. That still works. That works. Oh, I got some. What, what is that? Is that just a, a sander? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen a, a yeah, I, angle I sander. I have a, a grinding business on okay. the side years ago. And I used to like regrind those parabolic drill bits. That was okay. good money for doing Wow. That. But they were a split point. Parabolic. Now, what is that used for? Um, that th these well, they use these for uh, like drilling molds. Okay. The vent holes oh. in a mold. Okay, so it's for for machinery or for. Yeah. Okay. So these are like. It's for tooling. I think these drill bits are like twelve bucks a piece. Wow. And they used to burn the ends up. To get a hard spot in the casting. Okay. Burn the end up, throw it in a bucket, and then I'll cut the ends off. And redo it. And regrind that parabolic split point okay and a machine i'm keeping that okay the machine but then i'd regrind the tip and then put the so it's a slight it. parabola yeah parabolic. okay right just a little bit not much okay cool anything wrong with this vice no that no hmm Oh, the vice is fine. Okay. I've had it for for years. I never put it on the bench. I've been hauling it around, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not gonna haul it around anymore. Yeah, yeah. Where I'm going, I'm not gonna. I'm I'm done. I'm not doing anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go I was it. just thinking about that. I, I'm like, I'm sick of you know doing the, you know, growing and taking things to the next level, and 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 I'm like, I'm I'm done. I'm I'm in my sixth decade of life. I'm I'm you know, I'm just gonna kind of. No. Coast all the way through now. That's where, that's where I'm at. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. All right. I think I'll leave the hose for someone that will need it. Oh no! Does that go to anything? No. That's just air hose. I got the coil ones now, so I don't. All right. Rubber, so. You're not getting rid of that too, are you? No, that's a. Okay. Jack system I'm keeping. Uh, okay. There's all kinds of little cool. And this guy, is it just a, a, a long jack? 
like for a, an RV? Um, you can use it uh, for whatever you want. I've got a cherry picker. Okay. So I've got this one. I got another cylinder too, and the, the other cylinder's got the got the um, the trunnion on the bottom. Okay. That I can right. make it to a jack. Okay. And this one don't have it. Right. So I don't know. I got that from my dad, and I don't know why he. It's never been used. I think he bought it for the jack and realized that it didn't have the trunnion on the bottom. You can't use it. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> it'll especially on a warm day. It'll go right through that. Yeah. So there's that, and uh, that welder it works, but it's okay. A flux core wire. Right. It's, it's messy. Okay. All right. Cool, man. Thank you. Are you moving out of state? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good luck with your the next phase of life. I'm not sure what this is, but oh, it's a food processor. Um, carrot chopper. <laughs> So my last welder, I sold it, and I kind of was bummed that I had done so. So I'm glad there's another one. I'm gonna practice using it, and maybe add some hooks onto the ladder rack. <laughs> How heavy are you? Oh, you're not that heavy. I, yeah, I can't use the saw horses. Thanks, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, put it out here and yeah, it'll, it'll be gone within a few hours. Especially with it being a nice day, the day before garbage day, yeah. So, yeah, because there's a lot of us driving around. Yeah. It looks heavy, but it's not really heavy. So, resale for the few things. But yeah, I want to keep the uh, that welder. Thanks again. Whoa. Seriously. This is why I emptied the truck earlier. All right, what I need to do is get that. Is that an angle grinder? <laughs> angle sander. Put that right here. Yeah, I think that's resaleable. Excuse me. Got some extra discs for it. It's one horsepower, 14 amps. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> now it's awkward. Is it going to fit? Maybe not. Just just fits. Oh. 
this good enough to grab onto? I probably should look first. Hmm. <laughs> that still has a couple more seasons left. <laughs> I, wow. gonna do this. This might be too long for the lift. Maybe. No, perfect. Huh. Yeah, I probably should ride up with it. Now, where are you going? Can't really go this way. I have to go a long way, huh? That vice. Hmm. That, that might be 50 bucks right there. Seriously. I don't know. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go 40 bucks. Cause I'm like the anti-inflation guy. Give people good deals. Just because I can charge more doesn't mean I should. Because if I'm charging, that means that someone is spending. Well, someone is buying at a higher price. I mean, someone is having to purchase it at a higher price. All right. Um, I would like for it to go straight across, but. That ain't happening. Ooh, this thing is beefy. No, no pun intended. I really, when I say that, I usually don't intend the puns. Huh. Well, that's it. I almost punched myself in the mouth just now. Maybe. Yes, I can. Yeah, that's a cardinal. Where are you at? There's a red cardinal over there somewhere. I just don't want it to be the land. Great, wonderful, yeah. We, we got the same goal, thank you. This is made of helium steel. Yeah, sometimes you gotta tie a string on it. It's awesome, he totally brought it out. I thought he was talking about an office chair. Thank you, sir. Thanks for flagging me down. Man, that was excellent.
Hmm. Can we? Of course we can. Ooh. Yeah. Don't worry, I got nine more. Good stuff. <laughs> Filing cabinet. Wait a minute. I know what you're thinking. into my truck else I'll oh, forget. <clears throat> That's nice, dude. Huh, Babco tools? <sighs> yeah, this is not light. <clears throat> Filling her up. There is such a theme Oh my goodness, oh, those are loungers. I think I think yes that might be the way it's supposed to be yeah I don't know hmm. all right I need to do something Snap tool, beta 2025. Another one, get in my truck. That's a nice little table. Probably gonna have to go sideways, huh? Yeah. Indubitably. Pretty good, huh? Kind of proud of myself. Don't get too proud of myself here. I don't want it falling out of the back of the truck. Uh. 
Yeah, let's crisscross. This bowling kind of loosened up, didn't it? All right. Let's change this up a little bit. There we go. I can't tell if this is a mower in the trash or he's getting ready to cut his grass. Looks like it's trash. Are you throwing away your mower? Okay, thank you. Glad he was right there. <laughs> I'm glad you were there. I couldn't quite tell if you're getting ready to cut your grass. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> this is my first mower of the season, I think. I think I was saying that on Mr. Scrappity's channel. I'm like, I don't think I've gotten a mower yet this, this spring. But sometimes <laughs> it's so funny with my memory, these last two years, that I can be completely wrong, but believe that I'm right. So much so that I could pass a lie detector test I'd argue and be completely wrong, but just not know it. I gotta go sideways because I know it'll just roll right off. So I gotta be, I have to be extra careful. Yeah, because there's extra bolts here that this, unless I take it all the way out. Yeah. I might sell this to my mower man. Yep, yep, yep. No, dude. <laughs> like, don't go too far. <laughs> Just far enough. Wow, can you hear those, those cardinals? these with me or I will lose them. Thanks again. I just snapped some pictures of the mower and my mower guy totally wants the uh the mower uh, he's at work right now so i'm gonna probably drop it off at his house later <laughs> that is so cool i just <laughs> saw the paypal icon pop up on my phone um so i sold the mower to my mower man i still got it in the back of the truck i have to go drop it off at his house um but he said hey as long as it pulls pulls um i'm good uh I snapped three pictures and I sent it to him. I said, hey, you want to buy this? He's like, yeah, my house 30 bucks. I'm like, sounds good because he's going to just redo the whole thing. Traveling workbench. Hey, you're not going to give me a hard time, are you? I'm wondering if this thing will start up because I can smell gasoline. Hey, just run over my own foot. Okay. Oh. I 
can be a klutz. Really? Come on, dude. attention it is so nice outside yeah it's in the upper 70s so what is that 25 celsius i think it'll just start up no way <laughs> all right i sold a mower and it even started up here. Mm. What kind of welder are you? <laughs> you are a 90 amp flux wire welder. Chicago Electric. This vice. It's not quite as big as that one. I don't know, it has bigger teeth. But this one belonged to my ex-wife's grandfather. Yep. So my, my kid's great-grandfather. That's pretty nice. An angle sander. What am I gonna possibly use an angle sander for? Very wild. No way! Excellent. Right on. a few grills is it gonna fit bright light This thing is so fast now that it's warm out. Oh, the motorcycles are out. Yeah, it's gonna fit just right. It's an old dog cage. I think right here is probably where it's going to go then. Thanks, folks. We're going to have to get a little creative here. Probably want to 
flip this around somehow. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a bad problem to have. I think it'll go right. Can it? Nope. Yeah, look right here. Most likely. Oh, no, that's not cool at all. All right. <clears throat> nope. These are not to be on the road. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven screws, eight, Nine. Yeah. Not cool. Hmm. Can they go in there? I think so. There. This piece is irritating me. Hey, more scrap. deal with you here in a second. Forget anything? I will take the turkey fryer as long as it's not full of grease or oil. I mean, there's like <laughs> there's zero chance I'm gonna grab it if there's oil in it. I don't think any scrap would grab completely oil filled. Yay! Yeah, this is this is the fullest truck, the fullest I've had the truck in a uh, a day before a day before garbage day in a long, long time. Been a long time, been a long time. Is that a scrap hallucination? Or is that rotors and car parts? <laughs> Can I grab your scrap? Right on, thank you. Sorry, was that too loud? Yay! Thank you.
where are you going? <laughs> right here. Thanks again. What's that? Usually the day before garbage day. Um, so yeah, if you put any scrap out here, yeah, we'll grab it. All right, Thank you. Thank you. New tent. Northern bro, what's up? How you doing, bro? Good, what are you guys up to? Not much, just came back from the nursing home. We did a service there and stuff. Really? The house, you know. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are. Scrap. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because it's such a nice day. Everybody was bringing out the scrap. Yeah. Cool. You saying saying hi to Perry over there? Yeah, I saw him. Hello. Yep. Hi, Mrs. Pastor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I did, yeah. Yep, because I actually, I, on River is where my mower man is, and so I actually, I misdrove onto Regal, and so the guy saw me, I didn't realize he was like waving me down, and so when I was driving on first, he put his scrap on Regal, and so when I pulled up, he's like, yeah, I saw you driving earlier, which was an accident, which is like, I just love how things happen, so, yeah, all right, it was good seeing you guys. Yeah, yeah, super good. My yep. coming over to say hi to you. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, they don't want to get run over by you. Yeah, you so I heard you're talking to uh, the older folks. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah trying to help and encourage them. Yeah. How you, you doing? Good, good. Did you give them a message of hope? On one of your videos? No, did you give uh, the oh, older... Oh, did I give them? A... Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay. I told them today I... Use the first same man told me. I said, God uses at times some of the most common everyday occurrences. Okay. Yeah. So, right. Uh, that's what our lives are filled with, you know? Yeah. So sometimes they view themselves as forgotten, but God hadn't forgotten them. So. No, not at all. Yeah. No, and, and, and actually they're awesome people. I got someone behind me, oh, um, but yeah, they, they're they awesome just because they're in the last part of their yeah, life. You know and they so. got, each got a story. So. Yeah, absolutely. I'll we'll see you guys later. We'll see you all time. right. Bye, Barry. Perry. Perry. That's the kind of stuff that gets me choked up. I didn't mean to turn on Regal. I meant to turn on River. But then the guy put the scrap out for me. And then for me to see the scrap and make the U-turn. And then I see the Northern Bros, which they have the their own YouTube channel. You know, and then I was able to, to talk to pastor and it, it 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 is a message of hope that you know we're not forgotten you're not forgotten i'm not forgotten yeah so this is the first street bridge and they're uh, they're making this walkway this really awesome walkway down here i don't know if you can see it right on the on the kish it's one of the legs of the kishwaukee river that goes by northern illinois university but anyway yeah there's hope. And that's, and that's facts. What an amazing day. All right, so I gotta take the rotors off the truck. I have that refrigerator plugged in. It's been plugged in for, I don't know, an hour or so. And I have the thermostat right in the center and it's not cooling. So it's probably scrap. I think I'm gonna take those aluminum. So it's what, one, two, three aluminum chairs or yeah three aluminum chair things I'll take those off the truck probably untie it for the morning yeah so not only has this been just a really great scrap day but a really great resale day with the mower and the sander thing and 
Man, that's awesome. So let's go ahead and pick up this operation in the morning. What's up, man? <laughs> if I don't do this now, I'll just never do it. So, yep. I think I got it. <laughs> See you later. Good morning. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna put the refrigerator on the tailgate and take it in and then bring in all of this aluminum breakage. So two trips to the scrapyard. Two trips to the scrapyard. As I'm getting ready to load this, you gotta hear this singing of scrap. When you have too much scrap, you use the patented pit bull bed extender. I checked it. That's all steel. It looks like aluminum, but it ain't. I've never been to the scrapyard this early because they're not even open. Well, there's some employees here, but yeah, they don't open for another 20 minutes. So I think I'm gonna kind of get in line, but I'm gonna take the ropes and the ratchet strap off the truck. Wow, this feels strange. <laughs> Hackney never used ratchet straps, pa. Sometimes I do. Not very often. Not very often at all. Now is not the time to be driving like a maniac. Even though they have the sign on, I don't think I'm gonna get on the, should I get on the scale? No, cause that truck's gonna back up. It's gonna hang out right here. And watch some YouTube videos. He gave me the green light. I have no idea. I didn't even like think to guess. Four, three, four, zero on the scale. Four, three, four, zero. Okay, thanks, man. I'm gonna get way out of the way. The law of gross tonnage applies. That means I yield to the big man. Nice. All right. Look. You know, I really appreciate how clean they are keeping the scrapyard. They're using the magnet to mag up all the nails and tire debris. They're keeping everything clear. I appreciate that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go around the bend. Make sure I'm not gonna 
bash into a camper or something sticking out. Yeah, you see, so that little bend area is really where I want to go. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna, hopefully I'm gonna miss that stone wall there. But I need to have room also for the scrap. Need, yeah, I might need to pull forward a tad. I don't know, we'll see. So here was a problem. I had to use that rope to hold this up because I couldn't have it pass where the gate is. Um, so every time I would, I would try to load this with my lift gate, this would try to fall over. So I had to rope it, hold this up, lower the lift gate as the rope was holding this back. But now I'm just gonna let it go. Maybe. All right, this is gonna be weird. I'm gonna hold this as I kick this off the gate. Maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that coming. I usually don't see <laughs> issues, but I saw that. Now this gives me a little bit of room to work with. Wow, that's a, that's a Nissan something or other over there. It seems fairly new. Well, I guess it was wrecked or wouldn't be in the junkyard. you sure man I almost went tumbling off the truck Yeah, that's gonna be kind of a problem with all those bed frames tangled up in this barbecue here. I guess that's a smoker, right? out pretty well. Alright, 
mister. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be kind of a hassle, isn't it? Get this totally out of the way and then just leave it all tangled up as long as it's off the truck I guess huh I'm gonna say this way, then this way, and then that way. Hmm. It's mostly off the truck. Hmm. So just drive away. didn't work. Oh. That worked. What's up, Chris? Congratulations on back of the trailer so hard bent the frame on the truck. On your white truck? On yeah. your Yukon? Yukon. No way. Bent the frame. Ah yeah man. Right on. Alright man. All I'll right, let bro. you run. Yeah, See ya. Alright, so I gotta zip all the way around. But you know the cool thing about doing that? Whoa, seriously, dude? Look at that. Yeah, the harvest is in for scrapping because it's beautiful out. So the cool thing about this is that I can see the weight. So it was what, 73 something. You remember, I, I kind of don't. 7360, was that it? Yeah, I think so. Um, low on gas. Man, this might be an 800 pound load. So 6,500 even? Six thousand five sixty. So yeah, eight hundred pounds. What's up, Michael? How are you? Hey, boy, how are you? Good, man. You're here early today. Yeah. Um, I have a load of well, I have like ten aluminum um, backyard chairs that are like aluminum breakage. 
Okay. So I'm, I'm going to bring them in next. You doing good, man? Yeah. You guys are servicing us. I, I was filming. Is this morning I spilled my coffee? No. Something else. I don't know. No, that's not okay, dude. Seriously, no, shut well, this see, place down. This I had a cup this morning. Okay, all right. So that saved the world. You gotta take it easy on the caffeine. All right. Well, I'll drink an extra cup just nice. to make sure everything's like fine. Your coffee I love coffee. Nice. I don't drink it every day. Uh, and I'm kind of an afternoon coffee drinker too. So you can sleep with it. Um, I don't drink it after like four. It can affect my sleep, but oh, anything can affect my sleep though. I can stay wide awake till midnight, and then I'm wake up again at three thirty in the morning, just like awake as can be. If I don't um, like go out for walks and stuff, I usually stay up. I can't sleep. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of hyper. Anyway, yeah, just a little bit. I'm like always like got something. My brain's always got something going on. I can't do anything for like more than half an hour. You know, I was thinking about that this morning. I'm like, dude, I gotta work on my attention span and patience. I think it's patience. We don't have patience. So my brother told me. Um, do you get grumpy after doing something for like a long period of time? I lose interest. Yeah. I think I don't get grumpy, but I kind of just start, I start drifting off. Like I was trying to meditate this morning. Right. Do you, do you start daydreaming? I just start drift off. You know, okay. Like, That's yeah. normal. You know, it's it's normal and irritating. I, I in prayer, you know, I'll start to fall asleep in the middle of prayer. I'm like, I am sorry, God. Oh, I did yeah. not mean to to disrespect you. I think we, we need to focus. That's the idea. We need to have a little bit of mental discipline. Yeah. 76 What? Columns. That's a lot of 20s, man. Yeah, we'll All right. Hey, I'll see you. Actually, I'll be back in just a little bit. Nice. All right. I'll see you. Thanks, God. Thank you for a wonderful day. Thank you for everyone around. Thank you for, for busyness. All right, I'm gonna go across the scale here. But God, we do need help with focus. We do. Would you help us with that? In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, what? Empty trailer, dude. That's a problem. Empty truck. All right, we need to go deal with that. But before so, I crumpled up the receipt. One ninety a ton, eight hundred bone, eight hundred pounds for seventy six dollars. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's go load up those chairs. All right, no time to lose. Hey. Back to the scrapyard. It sure is nice that the scrapyard is so clear like this. Remember before just mountains just went like <laughs> right to the buildings. <sighs> Whoa. Stainless steel. I think that's low enough or my chuck is low enough. I'm hoping to not <laughs> hit the door. <clears throat> That's good enough. What's up, gentlemen? Good morning. Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. No, huh? <clears throat> no, that scale doesn't work. It doesn't work? You want me, you want me to go on the scale on the out there? What? You want me to scale out of the, there or right here? We got a scale here. 
โอเคกูเมนจะเลือกเบบี้สเกลทวันที่ฟิฟท์เขาทั้งหมดทำงานเขาเป็นอะไรที่ดีใช่ทั้งหมดที่ดีว้าวเอาไปใส่ในห้องน้ำเด็กไก่แมนนั่นดีฮัลหนึ่งสิบสองกิโลกรัมเนี่ยเขาอาจจะต้องแบ่งกันออกไปแล้วโอเคขอบคุณครับโอ้ยฉันทวิสต์ไปในมือ And look how clean this is. These guys are so squared away. That's a, I think that's a nautical term. Squared away. Having your sails squared to the wind. Oh. 193? Thank you, sir. One hundred ninety-three pounds of aluminum breakage. I'm gonna give you a check, alright? <laughs> a check of twenty bucks. Twenty-nine. <laughs> all right. I'm cool with that. I still went to the bank this morning. Everyone already. I did. I thought what I had this morning would be enough for nine. Nope. God, God, that's what I get for not going out into a day. <laughs> How many times you have to go to a bank? The bank a day. It depends. Like I. I try to um, usually one runs enough. Okay. Um, but lately, I should I should be going at the end of the day. Okay. But um, I go in the morning, right in the morning. All right. Right when they open up. Yeah. Usually have enough cash for them, you know. Yeah. But no, there's just too much scrap. Thank you, sir. All right. See you later. Bye, Katie. Too much scrap. Thanks, God. Thanks again. <sighs> Thanks again, God. And again, and again, and again. In the name of Jesus, Amen. And thank you for hanging out with me. <sighs> uh oh, that's a problem. An empty truck. What am I gonna do with all this extra money? Ninety-seven forty-three, <sighs> bro.